the tenth chapter, you know, so that faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word. You got to have the real word of God yeah. um, in order to be saved. You got to know the, the real word of God to have victory in your life. You know, uh, there's a, a move about now that's coming out in the last few years where people are moving to discredit the Bible. You know, uh, they, they want to say that, uh, you know, the white man gave us the Bible. That it, 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 it is, you know, I, I even saw one, he called himself an, an ex-preacher, a former preacher. He said that nothing in the Bible is true. I was like, wow. But the Bible told us, so faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Now, it is true that the Europeans or the white man, they did take this Bible and whitewash it. Uh, they, they, they distorted, they lit, you know, distorted the Bible. Changed all of the characters in it to white people. That, that's a fact. They did. Uh, and they lifted certain passages of scripture uh, in an effort to denigrate and demean and oppress people of color. That, that's true. But this Bible is 100% accurate. It is the infallible, inspired word of God. This is why they went to such great lengths to keep you uneducated. They didn't want you to know how to read because if you ever got the truth of this, you would be free. No, you wouldn't have just been a docile slave if you read this book. Because my this Bible tells us we are to obey God rather than man. Now I respect your law, but when your law contradicts the word of God, I'm going with the word of God. Amen. It's so much information. I, I, I mean, you know, and there, there are people out there that say, well, I believe in God, but I don't believe in Jesus. You, you, you can't, they, they, they're inseparable. You can't have one without the other. You know, Jesus is just some <coughs> uh, white, something that a white man made up. No, 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 you don't understand. You need a teacher. The Bible says, how can they hear without a preacher? Yeah, man. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You need the right information. Mm -hmm. No, it, I mean, and it, some of this stuff, if you just use some good old fashioned common sense, you will know this stuff don't make any sense. Mm -hmm. Jesus was a blonde haired blue eyed man. That, that, that don't even make sense. No. Just look at where it, it took place. Mm -hmm. Look at the regions. I mean, get your, get a map out. Get an atlas out. A blonde hair, blue eyed Jesus in those regions? It don't make sense. It doesn't make sense. You know, uh, uh, God told, appeared to Joseph in a dream and told him to take Mary and the baby down into Egypt to hide from Herod. Now, 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 why would you go to, into Egypt that you're going to take a blind hair, blue-eyed baby in Egypt to hide? Amen. That don't even make sense. No. And you know, they, they gave us, when they brought us here, they gave us Christianity. And well, in a manner of speaking, that's true because, well, first of all, the Bible don't teach Christianity. The Bible teaches holiness. God ain't never told nobody to be no Christian. But they didn't give us the word of God. Oh, I mean, if you go to the 8th the chapter of the book of Acts, you'll find where the Ethiopian unit, now where is Ethiopia? Ethiopia is in Africa. He was reading the book of Isaiah. When Philip told, the, 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 the spirit told Philip to go join yourself to him. 
And he asked him that Ethiopian eunuch, which was a black man. You can't argue with that. He said, do you understand that I what thou readest? He said, how can I accept some man should guide me? Then Philip began to preach the gospel to this man. Expound on him the gospel. And the, the Ethiopian eunuch, he said, he, he, uh, they, wait a minute, there's some water over there. I need to be baptized. And, and Philip said, well, if you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, you can. He said, I believe. Philip took that Ethiopian eunuch down to the water and baptized him in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> the Bible said that the Ethiopian eunuch, Philip, Philip was called away and the eunuch had great joy. That means he had the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Now where do you think he went after that? Being from, he, now he's from Ethiopia. Where do you think he went? Child, he went to Italy or France. Now, that, that makes sense. He went to Italy or France or, or England somewhere. That boy went back to Ethiopia. And, and he had the right information. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I, I would tell you something. When you get the Holy Ghost, you can't keep that to yourself. Mm -hmm. He took what he had back to Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. Them folks had the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. That was way before they ever started the Atlantic mm -hmm. uh, tra slave trade. Mm -hmm. Folks already had, the, they already had the gospel. <coughs> They had the gospel already. Yeah. So these people they didn't give us nothing. Mm -hmm. Folks were being baptized in the name of Jesus Christ in Africa hundreds of years before the Atlantic slave trade ever started. Yeah. So listen, you 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 can't you can't uh no you don't you don't have to you you can have full confidence in this Bible. Mm -hmm. Yes, they took certain uh 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 passages of scripture, and we'll look at a couple of them. How they tried to uh, whitewash the Bible. Mm -hmm. The Bible talks about how they, 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 people would handle the word of God deceitfully. Amen. They have wrong motives. <clears throat> but that don't, dis that don't invalidate God. So, so look at Romans. The 15th chapter. Now, now we can kind of keep the same subject. So that faith coming by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. You got to hear the right stuff. <clears throat> uh, Romans the uh, 15th chapter. Oh, you're, getting the wrong, you're getting the wrong information. And that's what, ha that's what happened within the black community for years. Years. We've been getting the wrong information. Mm -hmm. Yes, they deliberately distorted this Bible, twisted this Bible to, to make us uh, feel inferior. Yes, they took this Bible and they twisted it. <clears throat> but that's why the Bible came along to tell us to study to show thyself approved unto God. I tell you all the time, don't take my word for nothing. And when we was when we was on the radio, I used to tell them, get your Bible out, grab a notepad and pen, and follow along with me. But see, they 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 kept they want they they didn't. It was against the law for a, a black man to know how to read. That, why do you think that was? Because if you ever got a hold of the right information, you wouldn't still for that the, the chicanery they were trying to pull. Romans the fifteenth chapter, and uh, at the fourth verse. The Bible says, for whatsoever was written a fourth time was written for our learning that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. The only hope you got is in God. And this is the translation of God's mind. Whatsoever was written a fourth time was written for our learning. The people of God were always a resilient people. The people of God were always a rebellious people. I mean, you go back when 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 uh, <clears throat> they kidnapped Lot. What well, what well, Abraham didn't Abraham didn't have no peaceful protest. Abraham didn't. We just gonna pray and let the Lord work it out. No, 
Abraham got the Abraham went to war. Yeah. Thank you. When Goliath was terrorizing the army of Israel, they didn't have no prayer meet. They went out market with we shall overcome now. David said, Is that not a cause? Thank you. Yeah, see that yeah, they did feed us this passive stuff. But you gotta get in this word for yourself. Oh yeah. You have to get you some faith. You know, the very thing that they, 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 that's why they love to use uh, Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech. See, you got to be careful with the media. And anything they promoting, you got to ask yourself why they're doing it. See, they got around here dreaming. <clears throat> and even before Martin Luther King died, he woke up from his dream. Because he started telling folk, to don't buy from where you would be wouldn't be high. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But they take they pray that I have a dream. They play that old, you know, we just came out of Martin Luther King Day. Mm -hmm. Oh, they play that. But the other speeches that he made, they don't play them. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> for whatsoever was written aforetime time was written for our learning. We got to get in this book and learn how they overcame. And we, we got God on our side. God is with us. Yes. Not to make you believe that you are cursed or in a cursed and inferior people. No, we not. My Bible tells me that I was fearfully and wonderfully made. Mm -hmm. That's why you can't you can't tell me I'm ugly. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, you, you must be you, you blind or stupid one. Can't nobody tell me I'm man, please. I'm created in his image. Now, I, I know I look good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I tell my, tell my oldest daughter, when you're brushing your teeth in the morning, tell yourself you look good. You're washing your face. I do. You, you tell yourself you look good. Don't wait no telling. Wait on nobody to tell you you look good. You tell yourself. Mm -hmm. You got to build your own self up. Because if you're sitting right here waiting for somebody to do it for you, most of what you're going to get outside of yourself, folks trying to tell you down. <laughs> Go to uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah 29. Jeremiah 29. Gotta get out of this mentality. Not, see, you, you know, the, 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 they have an old saying. You know, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. So, okay, yeah, we can, we established the fact that, yes, the Bible was was, was uh, taken out of context in a lot of certain parts of the Bible was taken out of context. And so now there's a move. To, to, they just want to get rid of the whole Bible. Uh, no, no. <clears throat> you just need to understand. You need a preacher that ain't trying to get in your pocket. That's what you need. Instead of fighting me, you ought to really listen to what I'm trying to teach you. You idiots out there who fight me on what we put up on a, a, a YouTube. If you listen to my message, I, I can actually help you. <clears throat> I'm telling you, I'm, I got what, what, what the world needs. Well, I'm telling these boys to pull their pants up and walk around and carry yourself with some pride and some decency. I'm telling these young girls to quit dressing like hookers. Cover yourself up and have some self-respect. That's what I'm teaching. But you fight me. I got what the world needs. The world needs the Holy Ghost. If you get full of the Holy Ghost, you have that all that come with self-respect. Jeremiah 29 and 11. Jeremiah 29 and 11, the Bible says, For I know the cause that I think toward you, said the Lord. I know the cause that I think towards you, said the Lord. Watch this. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. That's how God feel about you. You get in his book, you'll know how God feel about you. I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. 
And get this government, this government in the United States is some of that is some of the, some of the most wicked government government ever. Yet, yet they got the nerve to want to come try to criticize other countries for human rights violations. And some of the worst human rights violations, human atrocities have taken place right here in these United States. You told me I was three-fifths human. That's in the Constitution, the three-fifths compromise. I, you, you said I wasn't even fully human. But yet they held these people, George Washington and, and John Adams and Thomas Jefferson, they, they held these people as heroes, as godly men. These people were no godly men. They presided over the worst human rights abuse in the history of the world. And they tried to use this book as a guide to cover. But he said, I know, he, he, he said for thus, he said, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Thoughts of peace. Now when you had me, my, my forefathers in shackles, were that thoughts of peace? This is your hypocrite. That's you was a, you were being a hypocrite. Thoughts of peace and not evil. Make a man work all day and don't pay him nothing. That's evil. To give you an expected end. And you, we coming out here, well, I see a white man wrote the Bible. All of this stuff in here, I just start with the Ten Commandments. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Who would write that? Man, look, if I'm going to write a Bible, trust me. I would write, thou shalt do it what thou wantest to do. <laughs> if I was writing a Bible, do good to them that spitefully use you. Who would write something like that? L love your neighbor as thyself. Who would, if, if, if I'm writing a Bible now, who going to write that? I mean, you just got to do some common sense. They going to write a book condemning themselves? No, these people, they, they ain't have a name. People ain't write this. This came from heaven. For hello, Lord, thy word is settled in hell. You just got to get the right information. Got to cut somebody. Somebody got to bring it to you that don't have an agenda. See, I'm not trying to win friends and influence. I'm not trying to pay the mortgage on a multi-million dollar home. I'm not trying to pay for a Bentley or a Rolls Royce. That's why you need to hit me because I don't want nothing from you. I don't go, I, when we was on the album, did I come on there and tell you, if you love this program, sow a seat? No. I didn't do that. He said, they told me freely give. That's what he told the apostles. He said, don't take nothing for your journey. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, go to uh, uh, 2 Corinthians. I want, I want to show you something. Go to 2 Corinthians chapter 4. 7 Corinthians chapter 4. Faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word. You need the word of God. You need the word of God. That's just another trick of the devil. He trying to get you not to trust the only thing that can help. He, he the devil played, you know what, he don't have no nothing new. The enemy have nothing new. He keep re recycling and rehashing the same old tricks. He don't have anything new. <clears throat> he came with it to Eve in the garden. And what, what did he do? He got Eve to not trust the word. Because God told him, you can stay, of all the trees in this garden, you can freely eat thereof, but the tree that's in the midst of the garden, don't bother them. Mm -hmm. And what did he do? He got Eve not to trust the word. And now, so so that's what he's doing now. You can't trust this Bible. He don't want you to trust the Bible. Because yeah, he knows deliverance is in this Bible. 2 Corinthians chapter 4. We'll just start at verse 1. 2 <clears throat> Corinthians chapter 4 and at verse 1. The Bible says, Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not. 
but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully. That's what these people did. They handled the word of God deceitfully. They handled the word of God deceitfully. But we have, but now the Bible says we have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. Once I get a benediction, I can rest. Because I gave you nothing but the truth. Yes, yes, they handle the word deceitfully. Now I want to show you, I'm going to show you how they did that. Go to Genesis chapter 9. Genesis chapter 9. <clears throat> Genesis chapter 9. Amen, amen. We'll pick it up at verse 22. Genesis chapter 9 and then verse 22. All right, and the Bible says, And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father, and the two of his, and two, and told his brethren without. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father, and told his two brethren without. And Shem and Japheth took a garment and laid it upon their shoulders and walked backwards to cover the nakedness of the their faces were toward were backward and they saw not the nakedness of their father so both of them had a sheet and then they just walked backwards you know and covered up their <clears throat> covered up their father and Noah woke from his wine and knew what his younger son had done unto him. See, is, 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 is Noah had got drunk, fell asleep naked, and uh, Ham made fun of it. And he said, verse 25, and he said, Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants, shall he be unto his brother. And he said, Blessed be the Lord of Shem and Canaan, shall be his servant. Now they, they took this, this, this passage of scripture that says that we are the descendants of Ham. Therefore, we would be relegated to servitude. They took this, this right here and said that, that pe black people would be relegated to servitude. Now we just read how they handled the word of God deceitfully. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Handling the word of God deceitfully. That's exactly what they did. Because mm -hmm. if, you, if you study, I don't have time to do it now, but perhaps I'll come back at some other point to show you that the people of God, they had servants, mm -hmm. but they really treated those people like they, they were family members. They didn't beat them, and they definitely didn't rape them. See, you could not, in the Bible, you could not kidnap a man and sell him. If you did, you could be put to death for that. that but that's what they did to us. But yet, they're supposed to be some godly people. They bound, they captured my forefathers, bound them in chains, and, and packed them in a ship. Ain't nothing God live about that. That's of the devil. Yes. You get upset with that if you want to. It's the truth. All right, look at uh, Ephesians. Let me show you another, another one of the scriptures that they, ha they handled deceitfully. Ephesians chapter 6. <coughs> See, when you, know, you need to know this stuff. Ephesians chapter 6. 
Ephesians chapter 6, and uh, we'll pick it up at verse 5. Here's another one they, they, they use. But now, now we looked at Jeremiah 29. He said, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you an expect a good end. And they'll give you an expected end. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ephesians chapter 6, verse 5. Now watch this. Here's another one they use deceitfully. Servants be obedient to them that are your masters, according to the flesh, with fear and trembling. And singleness of your heart as unto Christ. Servants be obedient unto your masters according to the flesh. They, then they try to take up to say that he was saying to the slaves. Now that that what he that this is referring to. Uh, now what? Just all you have to do to show how how foolish they they were being. If you back up to verse one in Ephesians chapter six and verse one, just back up here. Watch this. Now he said, children, obey your parents in the law, for it is right. What kind of relation? That's not a, a, a slave relationship. No, who, who, who consider their children their slaves? He said, honor thy father and thy mother, which is the first commandment with a promise. Now, so so that that tell you right now that that's that's not what he he's not talking about a no no slave master. That's an employee employer relationship. But they handled it deceitfully. They took that and handled it deceitfully, totally deceitfully. Servants be obedient unto them your masters, according to the flesh. With fear and trembling, and and see that's that's they they they, they gave you that and they, they beat that into your head and that's why they had it, it, it was a kind of an unwritten rule that you didn't look a white man in the eye. It's because see right they use this to say with fear and trembling. Mm -hmm. That's why you gotta have the real word of God. So that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You need somebody to come along and tell you, show you, expose all these lies that they gave you. Yeah, they, yes, they, they took the Bible and twisted it. The devil tried it with Jesus. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it stands the reason that his children would do the same thing. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, so are you saying the white people is the devil? Listen, I ain't, I'm just showing you what the word of God said. I ain't saying nothing. If you act like your daddy, well, you know, they told me if the shoe fit. <clears throat> your, behavior, your behavior consistent with it. I got to call it like I see it. But see, that, that, there's so much power in this book. Now, because we read one place where he said, now I told you, you know, in Psalm 139, verse 14. We don't have to go there. I just quote it. He said that we're fearfully and wonderfully made. He said, you know, he tells us over in the uh, book of Acts, the 10th chapter by the 34th verse. He said, I perceive that there's, there, there, there is no difference. God is no respecter of person. Amen. But in every nation, him that work in righteousness is acceptable yeah. with God. He that worked in righteousness is acceptable with God. So, so it doesn't matter who you are or where you're from. If you work righteousness with God, you accept it with him. Black, white, you know, Asian, Hispanic, it doesn't matter. God has no respect to that person. But they told you that. They didn't tell you that. They didn't tell you that. They said, they took these couple of scriptures that we just looked at to try to make you believe that you were inferior, yeah. that you were less than, that you were supposed to be serving them, that you were supposed to work for them for free. They had the right to beat you. They had the right to rape you. And nothing in this Bible ever taught that. Yeah. And every last one of them going to stand before God and answer for it. Yeah. They going to answer for it. 
I can say with all confidence, every last one of these things going to lift their eyes up in hell. With full confidence. Go to 1 John. 1 John chapter 4. Thank the Lord I had teachers to come along and teach me mm -hmm. that I wasn't superior. And that's why I'm endeavoring to teach y'all the same thing. You're not inferior. You're fearfully and wonderfully made. You're made in the image of the Most High God. <clears throat> First Epistle of John chapter 4 and in verse 4. One place over in Psalms, he said, ye are gods. Ye are gods. Now, now you, that's little g, little o, little d. You, he said, you are gods. That means you, are, you, are, you, you can create. You can develop. Which means you are worthy of honor. You are worthy of respect. You know, Sarah called her, called Abraham Lord. She was paying him respect. But the whole, the whole system, they, 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 they make us hate each other, make us disrespect each other. All of that, a lot of this stuff, a lot of the ills that we face within the black community stem from slavery. A woman don't respect her husband because she watched the slave master disrespect him, so she just mimicked the behavior that she saw. But Abraham, uh, Sarah called Abraham Lord. Yeah. <clears throat> First John chapter four and uh, verse four. The Bible says, "Ye are of God, little children, and have overcame them, or overcome them." Watch this, because greater is He that is in you. Than he that is in the world. Ye are of God. Little children. And have overcome them. Because greater is he that is in you. Than he that is in the world. It's something. It's something great down on the inside of you. But don't let nobody stamp it out. It's something good. It's something great. Greatness is on the inside of you. But see, you if you all you if you can take a little child, and if all you ever told that child was that you're stupid, you're ugly, and you'll never amount to nothing, there's a pretty good chance that they, 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 they will start, they, they're gonna see themselves like that. There's a very good chance that they will see themselves that way. I thank God for the parents that I had, because they, they told us we could do them. Don't let nobody tell you you're stupid. You are of God. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is, uh, that is in the world. Greatness is on the inside of you. Isaiah 53 and 1 said, Who hath believed our report? What, who report you going to believe? Who have believed our report, to whom the arm of the Lord is revealed. And for so many years, we walked around in this bondage, not knowing what the word of God said about us. He called us gods. Children of the most high God. If you're God, you're worthy of honor. You're worthy of respect. If you're God, you command respect. And see, like the most high God, we can't go to him just any kind of way. You got to come to God with, with, with humility. And if you're understanding that you are created in his image, so you are also a God, not the most high, but you will not allow people to come to you just any kind of way. A young girl wouldn't let a, a, a man just whistle at her. You have respect for yourself. Yes. That's why you need the Holy Ghost. 
Learn how to carry yourself with some respect. All right, go to uh, Philippians now. Philippians. Philippians chapter 4. Philippians chapter 4. We'll pick it up at verse 11. So that faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You need to hear the word of God. You need to know what, what God think about you. So now you, 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 if you know how God really felt about you, you wouldn't accept just anything. Philippians chapter 4 and then verse 11. The word of God says, Not that I was speaking in respect of one, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am, therewith be content. Content does not mean being complacent. But I'm going to take the situation that, I am, that I'm in and I'm going to make it work for me. I know how to he said, I know both how to be a base and I know how to abound everywhere in all things. I'm instructed to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can, you know, I know how to make it. Even when things are not as well as me, I'm still not going to go out there in the streets and rob nobody. I get laid off my job, I'm not going to go out in there and rob nobody. I'm not going to start selling no dope. Because I know how to, he said, I know how to be hungry. That's why we need to fast more. You need to learn how to fast. Because as this world get, we're getting closer and closer to the end, things going to get tough. Persecution coming to the church now. The church in right here in America gonna be faced with persecution. It's it, it's coming. Now they're trying to make it where you can't say nothing about homosexuality. Persecution is coming. All of this stuff, see, a lot of people, uh uh the Bible talks about you know the mark of the beast. All of this stuff is in position now. You know how they, the, how to change in all these tolls to where you can't pay now. You have to have an easy tag. You know how we now we we we, we how we use our, our debit card for everything. A lot, a lot of folks don't even carry cash. We just use our debit card because you know it's convenient. Just swipe, you know, swipe and stick it in, stick it in the little thing. But, not, but do you know they can stop your transactions? Like I remember one time I was in Chicago and I was trying to use my car and it, the, the, it wouldn't go through. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. And then uh, I got a call. The bank was calling me. We said, we see an unusual transaction. Uh, the, the transaction trying to be taking place in Chicago. Uh, yes, that's me. I'm, I'm in Chicago right now. And it's like, okay, well, we'll unfreeze your account. Mm -hmm. But now, so so just like they do that, mm -hmm. see, like, okay, I'm, I'm preaching this gospel. Mm -hmm. I said something they don't like, they shut my card down. Mm -hmm. Well, Mr. Bush, we have a, a, a code on your account. Mm -hmm. And we need you to come in. Mm -hmm. They can do it. Mm -hmm. We see you've been you've been uh, preaching hate speech. Now all you have to do is retract what you say and swear never to preach again, never to preach that again, and we'll turn your card back on. Don't think it's not coming. I mean, they they monitoring all of this stuff. See, see, I live holy, so I don't care. They have video, they have cameras everywhere. Mm -hmm. I don't care what they use. Mm -hmm. I don't. They, they they monitor how you how you use the internet. Mm -hmm. People get fired because of stuff they say on on Facebook and, and whatnot. I don't. 
I don't care what they, you can monitor my internet, because all you, you're not going to find that not on. But that's, that's coming now. The Bible talks about how you would not be able to buy or sell without the mark of the beast. And see, a lot of folks actually think that's going to be like a tattoo or something. No. No, no. It's not. not mm -mm. You got, they, they can shut down your debit card. You won't be able to buy, you won't be able to buy nothing. Persecution is coming to the church, y'all. It's coming. He said, all that will live godly shall yeah. suffer persecution. That's why he, he said here now, he said here, I know the I know both how to be abased and I know how to abound everywhere in all things. I'm instructed to be full and to be hungry. So you better get your fasting game up. You're gonna stand for the word of God. See, that's one of the tactics that they use in, 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 in war. When they take prisoners of war, they deprive them of food and they get them to give up secrets. You let the average person, they go a day without eating. Oh, they, gonna, they can give up their information now. You say, I'm no pastor. So I know how to be hungry. Both to abound and to suffer need. And we, we, we don't want to be uncomfortable. We don't want to be uncomfortable. But some of us, all they got to do, if they shut our air conditioning off in June, we we uh we're gonna change. We're gonna go back. That, you ain't gotta do nothing extreme. Just shut the air off in, in June. Oh, you you some folks gonna start denying me. That's right there. But watch this, watch this, verse 14, verse 13, verse 13. Paul says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. I can do all things. You got to tell yourself that. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. I can do all things. I remember the story back over in, in, in the book of Numbers. I'm going to get ready to let y'all go. Uh, uh, how they sent out the spies to spy the land of Canaan. Caleb came back and said, let us go up at once, for we're well able to take him. Then the other spies said, we still done some big folks. They stronger than we are. We saw ourselves as grasshoppers. We, we, we saw our own selves as grasshoppers. But Caleb, Caleb saw the same thing they saw. He said, let's go at once. For we are well able. Mm -hmm. well able. We're able to. God is with us. Mm -hmm. So now he said, I can do all things through Christ yes. that strengthens me. Yes. Who has believed? What, so what report are you going to believe? That's why, you know, the media, they show you all of this stuff, all of this negativity regarding the black man. Who report do you believe? All they're doing is perpetuating the same old stuff they told you you couldn't do. And now you don't have any faith because you haven't been hearing the right thing. You haven't been telling yourself the right thing. But faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You need to hear the right stuff. Amen. Amen. I'll leave it right there. There's a whole lot more. I can go, I can go a long time with this, but I'm going I'm to stop right here. We thank God for you. We thank God for all things in the name of the Lord Jesus. I hope I said something to help somebody. Amen. Amen.